Hi guys, welcome to this Solgar. Here we have with us the Panasonic Lumix G7 international version. This uh, Panasonic records up to 25 and 50 frames per second. Now our goal is to make this camera record at 30 and 60 frames per second. So first of all, I just want to clarify something. I am using the international version and I also will leave in the description the UPC of my camera. Now, why do I do that? Uh, the reason I do that is because I, I checked some videos online and they did help me. However, I came across with some problems that I uh, finally fixed. But I believe that happened because, you know, the camera camera's version was probably different from the ones of the videos I found. So in order to prevent that, I just, wanna, I just want you to make sure that you have the same camera that I have, uh, so the instructions will be comparable. And I'm going to leave the UPC on the description, and if you have access to it, if you, st you still have the bags from, uh, that the camera came with it, it'll be great, so you know we can coordinate better, and no issues, okay? So now let's proceed. So the first thing you want to do is turn your camera off. So we are going to switch our camera off. And then you are going to make sure that the camera is on the programming mode. The capital letter P here. So I do have my camera there on the P mode. Now we are going to flip our camera and we are going to be looking at the um, following buttons. White balance, display and autofocus uh, lag button right here. So these three buttons are going to be held on while also turning on our camera. So, uh, then you wanna, as I said, the white balance, display, uh, the uh, autofocus lock, and then, you can't see there, but I'm turning on my camera, okay? So our camera is now on. Next, you are going to click uh, or say, push the um, replay button, this um, green triangle here. Now press it. Okay, so um, this will happen. Uh, you know, you just like uh, reset the camera. So in order to just skip the setting of the clock and all the stuff, if you want to do it quickly, just press the shutter button. Okay, now we're good to go. And now a uh, green button, as I said, the replay. And this is the previous uh, photo that I took. And now we are going to be pressing our ISO button and also our autofocus um, lock button and turning our camera off. Do you see that white, uh, that white, that yellow uh, triangle, that exclamation point? Well, that says that there is an error. Uh, it's not that everything is good to go. It's definitely, uh, you know, the software detects like we did some changes and the camera will probably function differently. We're not damaging our camera, it's just that the software wasn't designed for this setting, so it's just letting us know like, okay, you did some changes, some things will probably work differently. And I will tell you right now what happened with my camera. So, just to make sure that we did everything right, uh, we are going to turn our camera on. And again, you know, our camera is like, okay, set the clock. We don't want that. If you want to, fine, but I'm gonna skip that, pressing the shutter button. And now, just to make sure that we did everything right, let's go to menu, and on the video uh, options, let's look for the quality, recording quality, right here. And this camera that I'm using to record this is not great for focus, but if you can see there, 60 frames per second, and also 24 frames per second, and 30 for 4K. So this is great. Now, the issue that I found with my camera is that then I wanted to take some photos. And when I was using the manual mode, and here, the manual mode again for the photos, uh, my, uh, when I was doing changes, you know, with the um, exposure in ISO, they weren't happening, you know, the photos were coming differently, but I wasn't getting any instant feedback. I fixed this here, but in case uh, you do the changes and you want to notice that, like you want to go to the manual mode and you know you want to start messing with your exposure and uh, aperture motors and and basically uh, you want to find uh, that the the screen doesn't um, uh, you know doesn't provide any preview. So how you want to do that? How you want to fix that? Also, is go to menu and then you are going to go to uh, costume mode right here menu 
custom and then you are going to look for the option constant preview that's on the five out of nine menus here constant preview and what happened is that when I did the changes this suddenly turned off I don't know why but it scared me trust me I was like I damaged my camera but no fortunately that's how I fix it so if you have that issue after you tweak your camera as I said the manual mode uh, when you're doing the changes of like ISO aperture and all this stuff you don't have any uh, you know uh, feedback automatic feedback on the screen is because these settings were changed so as I say uh, go to constant preview on the custom menu and then just make sure that that's on so I have it on and once it's on you know you're good to go you know you can go to manual mode and as you can see I'm messing around with my um, aperture and the changes are happening so okay and um, now lastly if you like this mode but you find that I you know just wanted to do the your video at 60 frames per second but you want to restore your camera as the factory settings of this international version how you gonna do that is um, by um, having your camera on and also you know uh, placing it on the uh, programming mode again P mode and we are going to be uh, using the menu button the white balance button and then we are going to turn our camera off so while holding the white balance and the menu these two buttons we are going to turn our camera off okay so now the camera is showing us this display which says initial settings and then it says GN there so for my camera for this UPC model I only have one option and now uh, what we're gonna do is go and press the white balance button the WB once and then again and the camera will shoot off now uh, we basically restored our camera to the original factory settings without any tweak, without any hack and to make sure that you did that right let's turn on our camera and let's skip this again by pressing the shutter button and let's go to menu and let's go to the video uh, submenu here and let's look for recording quality and bingo here we have the 50 uh, frames per second just like this camera was designed to work so no issues and now if we turn our camera off there is no white triangle with the exclamation sign saying that the camera you know is set up uh, differently okay so kind of long video guys but I just wanted to cover everything and uh, as I said uh, some guys uh, actually helped me figure out this uh, this hack yeah it wasn't my idea and neither my whole knowledge but I wanted to make this video because of these issues you know and also because if you wanna you know uh, some little details that you might uh, missed uh, on other videos so if you found this video helpful uh, remember to thumb it up if you have any question if you want to let me know if you work for your camera and, and if you also have the same UPC or if you work uh, for a different UPC a different model of um, the Lumix let me know and uh, thank you for watching guys remember to subscribe and see you on the next video